Hi, this is uh, Giles Robson, part of the trio of Joe Lewis Walker, Bruce Katz and uh, Giles Robson. And we're playing uh, uh, music from our record Journeys to the Heart of the Blues, which is a raw, stripped down acoustic blues record exploring some of uh, the lesser known gems in the blues canon. Well, I met Joe uh, right here in Holland at the Amstelveen Blues Festival in 2016. Uh, we jammed together on a couple of tracks and uh, hit it off and had a, a, a talk after the, the show about music for a couple of hours. And then I had an idea about maybe doing an acoustic record with Joe because uh, I've been listening to a lot of band leaders like Junior Wells and Muddy Waters that, that traditionally led electric bands but then went back and did acoustic albums. And I got in contact with Joe, he was interested. And then he had the great idea of including Bruce on piano to fill out the sound. And uh, yeah, we, we, we got it together. V2 Records, V2 Munich Records that are of course based here in Amsterdam. Uh, we're really excited about the project. So they gave it the green light and then uh, went out to New York to Woodstock and we recorded it out there in January 2018. Well, you know, I, I, I got to be honest with you. You know, my agents, my, my wife, they, they, they get um, frustrated with me because I very rarely, I, 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 I look at the audience, but I really try to tap in what's inside of me, you know. And I figure, like, if, if I can inspire myself, like you see me back here playing guitar, I could be in, 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 in a room with a million people, and I'm, I'm just in, in my trying to get to the feeling that I have to put out there on stage. And so in that context, it, it really, you know, I, I like to get outside inspiration, but I feel like if you don't have the inspiration inside, for me, if I don't feel it inside, then... Um, I don't think that I can make anybody else feel it inside. So I have to work myself into a, um, just like a football player or somebody who, uh, you know, pumps themselves up. This is, this is my little uh, thing I've been doing all my life. And um, regardless of what's going on on the outside, I can play my music the way I play it all the time, 110%. Music is pure, you know, it's hard to put a lot of um, angst and in, in, in different egos and stuff. You know, the best saying is Luther Allison, leave your ego at the door when it comes to music. Even if you have misunderstandings or whatever, you leave your ego at the door, you know. And, and so when you get up there, you do 110% because you may never play again. You could walk out here and get struck by lightning. <laughs> so, you, so you want to do the best you can, you know. And you want to be proud of what you do. Um, I mean, I've played electric blues and all sorts of blues and jazz blues and organ blues, and um, but I like the stripped down nature and the the. Um, the way this music breathes and how there's communication between the three of us because it's, it's acoustic and, and it, it's not a high volume and we can react to each other in a way that you don't always get to react in a band situation with drums and bass and other people. Ain't but a mile and a quarter We're looking forward to the record coming out on October the 26th on uh, Munich and V2 in Europe and Alligator Records in the States. And uh, we hope you blues fans out there enjoy it because we made it for you and we hope to get maybe some new blues fans from it as well. Run me down.